Okay, everybody, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to go over formation specific attacking patterns of play. And this is just to give players ideas. So in this formation, we actually have a diamond in the center mid with three up top. So essentially, um, we play a 3 2 2 3, but in attack, especially in the attacking third, now. We only have one six. We have this 10 pushed up high. This would be another one of our sixes and another one of our tens. I mean, in the attacking phase, again, we morph into other things, but this is formation specific. So if you see this pattern of play, we have the six play into a 10, who plays into another six, into a 10, here, here. Ball diagonally through over the top into one of our wingers who is cutting in. Simple setup with four mannequins plus two. So we have six total mannequins. Nice, easy pattern. And we can we run this to one side, then we reverse the pattern, run it to the next. Now we look at more of a penetrating pattern on the ground. Again, you still see that diamond shape. Here we go, ball gets played in to the 10, out to the other 10 or a six, eight, whatever you wanna call them. And this ball is played penetrating in. Um, sorry, this is his run. Ball gets played penetrating in and get around the outside mannequin and we look to play to feet. Here's the important part. If you notice, now we're sending one, two, three, four players plus this player penetrating five players into the box. As this player here could come up and make this space. So basically you have five plus one right outside the box is six. Our true six here stays, so you have six plus one. And then we have our back three. And even our outside back and a back three, the right center back, could come in and fill this space a little bit more out wide. It depends what they leave up top. Let's take a look at the next one. A little bit more intricate, same idea. So as this ball gets played over, all we do has a simple one, two right here and through. And we still have the same amount of players, one, two, three, four, um, plus another come in here, five, five. And then obviously one of this player is free to come into this gap as well. So we, we keep a large number of players going into the box during these patterns. We want to get in the habit of five, six players into the box while we're still defensively balanced with one plus three in the back. But again, if there's only one striker that stays up top, we want to give the flexibility to the three in the back. If he wants to come, the right, um, the right center back, he can come. We just want to make sure we always have two against one here. I would not send my left center back so, so far forward, but he can inch forward as well. So those are some ideas about basic patterns of play. Whatever formation you use, just set up the players in your, your formation specific um, game model here in the attacking third and feel free just make up your own patterns and it's just to give your players ideas of things that they can do in the attacking third to break down a team that's in a low block.